What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with a recap of one of the last fours for 2.0. It has been three, four weeks since I last made a video. I sort of gone through some major life transitions. I moved into my new house. Uh, it's obviously Christmas right now, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life. So, um, yeah, was uh, enough just to get my attacks in. Never mind, actually sit down and do a little video. But here it is. This is my new place. Love it. Um, maybe one day I'll give you a little virtual tour, but. Uh, for now, I just want to get this recap done. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon. Just trying to hang out with my daughter. So she's uh, busy playing Minecraft at the moment and doing pretty good, actually. She's killing some spiders. There she goes. Yeah, she's having a good time. So anyways, uh, 74, 73, uh, 2.0 moves to, uh, is it 9 and 1 on the season? Or 8 and 1? 8 and 1? 9 and 1? It's got to be 9 and 1. Are we 8 now? 8 now? We lost... Anyways, we lost last week to Perfect Wars. Um, was going to do a recap again. It's just, it was so difficult. I literally moved on the first, and there's just countless amounts of crap to do. So, anyways, I want to jump right into some of these attacks. Um, some really good ones in here. Um, <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be an interesting video. <laughs> the Minecraft background. Um, where was I going to start here? No, mix a dip there. I think that was it. one of their lower tiers i think it was dan no because that's a lower tier as well start off with one heat die i know you brought an electron here only two lab hounds i'm bringing three lab hounds with most of my electron attacks but sometimes you wish you had more balloons so you're going to see this uh blimp come in double clone go down all those balloons go in e dragon locks on that queen takes care of that defensive queen Bam, down she goes. Clan Castle is basically dead. Just got to get rid of those witches. I think a couple of the skellies get left up because that E-Drag is just taking a beating there in the core. But no big deal. Uh, the, the job is done. What I've been looking for on these Electron attacks is where can you fly that blimp into where it's not going to be uh, bugged by a sweeper. And it's going to have access to the queen. Because if you can take care of the clan castle, the queen, a huge chunk of base, obviously, right? 20 plus percent of the base with an air defense, a bunch of other crap. Uh, you're looking real good. Because you're just going to suicide your heroes in like he does here at like 4 or 5 o'clock. Going to go ahead and walk down. Get this other air defense out of the way. And basically that whole section from 3 to 6 now is taken care of. So you can go ahead and start the Lalo. And he's going to get a nice counterclockwise rotation around the base. Pay spell to push things through. The general spell comp for this is going to be two clones, one rage, and three hastes with potentially a freeze, but he brings a skeleton here. Skeleton is sort of like the safe play, I find, because if your Electron misses the Queen, you still have that to uh, sort of push your uh, Lalo through the defensive Queen sometimes and manage to let it survive. So uh, Skelly Spell is a very good choice as well. I'm, I'm bringing a freeze at the moment because uh, I do also bring that extra Hound, like I said, so I can sort of path... If the queen stays up, I'll try and path the hound over the queen so it at least locks onto a hound and the balloons can move through and do their stuff. But as you can see, good old thing. This is Marco coming in and just wrecking this base for us. Bunch of swag loons there. Don't let Neon see that. Hey! <clears throat> Three in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Hoping the sound quality is better in this room as well compared to my old house. I uh, had to bully that one too. There's a couple of bullies we ended up. We had a great, we were over like, we are like 54% 10v10 hit rate at one point. And uh, these last few bases really just killed. I think it brought us down to 40%. I had a 99 on this base. Uh, was it this base? No, sorry. I had a 99 on that base I just looked at that got bullied. Um, heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. It was one of those ones where it was like a 99.75. Uh, the last building was an Inferno Tower, and my queen stepped in and had to get, like, I think one more shot on the Inferno, and it uh, would have been the three. But, unfortunately, she just didn't have quite enough juice and died, and that was the end of it. Good old 99. Uh, but you're going to see Anu going in here. Very interesting attack style, actually. Um, like his choice here, the queen charges in, uh, takes care of the clan castle. You can see Valks pop out of that wall record there, take care of the defense, or try and take care of the defensive queen. I don't think they get it in time. Yeah, they do get the queen just in time. Down goes that defensive queen, but it wouldn't matter because you're going to see eventually uh, his queen here sort of walks back into the core, takes care of this uh, air defense and this wizard tower. So looking real good at this point. Suicide King goes down. Now one little thing and who left here was this builder's hut. And we're going to come back to that one at the end of the raid because that would have been so unfortunate. 
Anyways, Lalo goes in targeting this first air defense, and you'll see the way the rest of these defenses are. Everything's going to kind of just go up to three and then back up to 12, and you see that queen now walking in, taking care of the air defense, and that wizard tower getting insanely good value on that queen charge. Still has three bat spells of rage, and uh, oh, down it goes. So he uses the bats over top of the inferno and expo chamber there. Pretty good value on that as well, because down goes that stuff. And really, there's only this wizard tower that's a threat to this uh, clump of balloons. Down goes the wizard tower. Got to get that air defense. Sorry, too, but it's going to go for sure here in a moment. Has just enough left over and still has a bunch of minions there doing cleanup on the town hall. <clears throat> but you're going to see this queen sort of sit here and beat through this wall to get to this archer tower, which is fine. Down it goes. Okay, looking good. Lots of cleanup at 12, but not a lot of time left probably at this point. Uh, Should have checked the actual time. But that builder's hut at six. That could have been deadly. You had all those minis and it one little, uh, but again, got it. No big deal. It's three in bag. Nice job, buddy. All right. Beerless Lita going in with her standard bitch. Uh, gonna go ahead and drop those uh, witches and then bowlers and healers. Get this funnel created over at the 10 o'clock location. A few giants in, just sprinkled in all over the place. Uh, give Get in front of that wall wrecker. Wall wrecker is going to start working through this stuff. A few more bowlers, a couple more witches to help out. And then a little flank of bowlers here at the 2 o'clock. This was interesting because they were sort of suicide. Like, probably could have dropped a couple giants on this archer tower and would have got a little more value than the king wouldn't have walked as well. Just a thought, but whatever because we know we're getting a three here wall wrecker is in bowlers in there smashing stuff up queen goes in that's the really the important part there right the king walking isn't so bad um the queen going in was a must though take care of that dragon poison goes down right killing off that witch and all those skelly spell or sorry uh skelly traps <clears throat> bowlers in there doing their thing flank is still going pretty strong here at three o'clock with those healers and the king walking ended up sort of being good because it just ended up tanking for this stuff and ends up giving another sort of flank here. Just got to get that uh, Tesla down. Everything now into this sort of final large compartment jump spell to unlock it. Uh, now these bowlers do fizzle out here very quickly to these Teslas. But the queen does her job. She's going to walk on in, take care of both Teslas and the cannon. And actually sort of the bowlers and witch take care of the cannon there. Down she goes. Hit that queen ability, bam, bam, bam. Just got to get rid of that town hall. And that's a three in the bag for Neon Waves. Nice job, girl. Awesome. Guy JPW. Um, yeah, I, uh, I planned this one for, I don't know what it is, but um, I, I was working when the war started. So I'll start when I'm kind of on a break or have a second. I'll start looking at bases. And you're going to see... Exactly what I was talking about with, I believe it was Marco's hit um, with these E-drags. If you can float a blimp in top of somewhere that's, you know, you might get an air defense, definitely get a wizard tower and an uh, inferno tower, some archer towers out of the way, and kill a defensive queen with clearing the clan castle without really getting bugged too much by a sweeper, you're looking real good. So now see this sweeper finally goes but where the line is on that sweeper, I knew the blimp would be right over top of that compartment. Maybe get pushed back once. But other than that, I'm going to have the rage spell down. So you're going to see this work exactly as I planned. Down goes the rage. E-drag locks onto that defensive queen right away. Down she goes. Don't end up getting these core air defense, but it doesn't really matter. I think I end up getting that uh, Tesla. Yes, yeah, so there we go. So I'll go ahead and drop a baby drag. Drop the king. Didn't really care too much where the king was going to go. I would have liked it to maybe walk up and tank for the queen, but it ends up sort of walking around here and doesn't really make a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and start this Lalo pretty quickly here. <clears throat> now that as soon as I see this clan castle come out and I know it's going to lock on to this stuff, kind of liked how it went down towards uh, the baby drag, which was nice. Uh, so I go ahead and start the Lalo, hit that def uh, defensive ability on the queen. Just let her do a little bit more work. Get the balloons in there and take care of the defenses so I can let the queen continue to do cleanup. Is that what I tried to do? But, oh, the cannon just locked on. 
And she's still alive for the Skellies take her down. That's right. I forgot about that. So the double haste, I had to do that. And then the nice little freeze there over top of the um, uh, sweeper mainly and obviously the Inferno Tower. So that one goes to sweeper. It's got to take care of that last air defense. There's a couple Archer Towers here down here, but there's far too many balloons for the Archer Towers to uh, do, do any sort of damage. And that's a three star in the bank. So I had this attack, and then I had that 99.758, we'll say. So that's frustrating. I would have really liked the six-pack. Keep those stats up, you know what I mean? I don't get to pad my stats like Neon does. Oh, did I just say that? Just kidding. I love you. All right, moving on. Marco, Marco did get the six pack here. Uh, this was actually a really cool hog attack using five healers uh, and twenty four hogs with the wall record. Just does a really, really cool walk and charge here. Um, I love it choosing to go hogs against these multi infernos. Um, you got to make sure and and only bringing three heals. Um, so Marco's got some balls here. And I like it. You're going to see how this pans out. Ends up sort of walking in, I believe, to here. And drops that wall wrecker fairly quickly. <clears throat> drops a few wall breakers here, too, to let that queen in. I'm trying to remember where the wall wrecker goes. I thought for some reason he sent it in right away. That might have been a different attack. I watched all of these last night before bed. And then, so I'm sort of recapping myself here at the same time. Uh, but queen's going to go in there and do a little bit of damage. Pull out that clan castle. Oh, it comes. Nice job bringing the fifth healer because does lose one to a mine. Down goes the rage. Down goes the poison. I work through that clan castle. Very, very popular um, clan castle right now is this new ice golem. So you're going to see when it dies, it freezes the queen. And look how long it freezes her for. Like, that's a hell of a freeze. That's got to be more than max, at least max freeze value. But I, I think it's more than max for some reason. So she's just got to work through this defensive king, which is fine. Down goes the king. She's going to step up. That multi-inferno is nice because it's not doing shit to her through those four healers. Uh, but she's got to kind of wait here and goes ahead. Sends the hogs in. I think you want to target the inferno, which he did. First few end up getting sacked down to 6 o'clock, but it doesn't really matter. So here comes the wall wrecker from 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I definitely do not remember that. Uh, but I do remember the nice little heal spells that he's going to end up throwing down. He's got one here, one sort of for these two wizard tires, and one for that backside multi. Nice little poison spell. Take care of those skellies. Down the go. Hogs just got to work through this expo. They finally do. You can see that second heal go down. There she is. Great value healing over top the uh, wizard tower and the multi. Because if not, these hogs would be toast. <clears throat> a few more skellies pop out from a trap there. But it's not going to be enough. Nice little heal over there as well. Does take a little bit of damage to that bomb there, but the hogs run right back into the heal spell, so it's great. Down go the Tesla. There's this backside wizard tower that the queen steps up and helps with, I think, here just in time. Yep. Bam, bam, takes the hits. Hogs coming in from the back. Absolutely going to crush this. Little bit of worries over the bomb tower here. We just got to get rid of those skellies. He's got archers and wizards doing cleanup all over the place. So it doesn't matter. Three stars. Here we go. Still four or five hogs left over, too. Nicely done, my friend. It's three in the bag. All right. What else we got? Another pulley. Oh. Yeah, you do see someone, which is weird. I think it's a zombie. Is that a zombie? Yeah, that's a zombie or something, Lily. Are you killing him? I think they had a lot of health. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Good old Vegito. I don't know. I know Vegito made one of his hits and then... He fell asleep and was extremely late coming back. And there was a bunch of a bunch of tags going on in Discord. I eat. You gotta select your food. I can't see. That's not your food. Oh yeah, it is. And then the, the left button, the one on the other side, that's not your hit. That's one? Yeah, and you just hold it. See, so yeah, so you're on gunpowder. You gotta select that one. There now hit hold the L. So you're eating. Anyhow, so Veggie uh, Veggie woke up to probably about 50 tags, I would imagine, in a Discord, and he did wake up in time. I don't know if, if this was the attack. 
I don't think it was, but if it was, that would be epic. If he came back, like was like out of sleep and just comes and nails his attack. It's 25 bogs he's bringing for this back end. Gets really good push into this base. Queen takes care of that clan castle and steps up and takes care of this defensive queen. And so do the bowlers actually jumping out of the jumping out of that wall record there. <coughs> he had reasonable value out of the uh, bowlers here up at uh, 12. Queen's gonna walk in behind and help out too. Steps up, takes care of the expo. He's got Hoggies coming in now from 12 o'clock. Really, he's got to work through this wizard tower. He's doing quite a bit of damage uh, when, as soon as those multis lock on. Nice little bomb placements there, too. But the heal is, like, right on the edge and manages to keep all those hogs going. Another little bomb there, but doesn't matter. Go ahead and drop that heal spell and heal him right back up. That was a bit of a panic heal there. So he really should have pushed the heal down. The hogs would have ran right into it. But it uh, doesn't matter because he's got one more now to heal over this multi. And there it goes. Touch late on that one, too. But no big deal. Nice poison spell. Take care of all those skeletons. Don't have to worry about them running along and beating on the hogs. Will they really finish off these last few defenses? Still has the queen. A few wizards all over the place. Archers all over the place doing cleanup. Crushing the base. Nice job, Veggie. We got to check. We're checking right now. Uh, more details. More events. Veggito. No. So that was not it. That's right. We were waiting for his scout so the 11s could hit. But whatever. <clears throat> um, what next? What next? Notorious. No, 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 no. Notorious. <clears throat> Bringing the uh, walk with hogs. It's actually uh, it should be the hog edition. I mean, we had a couple of nice lalos, but um, hogs seem to be a fan favorite right now. Um, generally with the... Uh, with the wall wrecker, but I have been seeing them too with the stoners. Um, basically, you know, I've been actually doing sort of a Lalo, um, trying to watch, figure out this sort of queen charge Lalo with a stoner, and you're, you're sort of using this, the king to funnel your queen off, the stoner to open up a big section of base for your queen to just walk in and do a nice charge. Um, becomes a little difficult, but I'm mean, having reasonable success with it. But same idea with hogs as well, you can do that. Or you can just use a wall record because you know it's going to open the wall. Sometimes the stoner, if it doesn't get the right drop, it doesn't kill the walls that you need and you get screwed because you're then you're fucked. But wall record is going to go in. Same thing. I just explained. Uh, King making the funnel on the one side. Queen's going to follow the wall record in. Poison's going to go down. Take care of the clan castle troops. And Queen's going to lock on there to them in one moment. Just got to bust through that last wall. What's up? Oh. Just got to bust through that wall. Open this up. Down goes the rage. The nice part is the king sort of joined in as well. Lily, don't hold the button down. You're still eating. <laughs> Sorry, it's just really annoying sound. Hopefully that doesn't pick up too much on the mic, but whatever. Uh, so anyways, Queen's going in. He's got 29 hogs coming in from six now. Does a little freeze there um, to sort of help the queen out. He dropped the hogs here. I think he was hoping the hogs would target that inferno first to help the queen out. Unfortunately, they all went to six and end up walking around. So he does lose the queen here in one moment. But, and you're going to see these Teslas. So at this point, the raid's like, ooh, like you do have two heals. Got to get one down just in time to keep those hogs alive, which is good. Does miss them sort of here, but they end up taking, have enough, just enough there to take down that Tesla, letting the wizard sort of continue to do clean up behind them. Last deal at 12 over that giant bomb, so really nice job. Has tons of hogs left. Has to basically just clear out these Teslas on the outer edge and do some cleanup. And things looking good. Oh, don't forget about this Inferno Tower down here. But uh, would have been so nice if the, some of the hogs targeted that Inferno Tower first. But doesn't matter. Has a bunch of them left. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Hit B. If you hit B, it gets you out of everything. There you go. Yeah, you're still eating. <laughs> Ooh, nice little scare on that giant bomb then. Doesn't matter. Far too much. Clean up. Nice job, pig. Kablam. What would a 10v10 be without Warble going in <laughs> using this stupid strat? 10 bat spells, 7 lava hounds. This just shows this the fact that this attack is a thing just shows how broken the bats are. That's about all I'll say. Sending in just a spam of seven hounds. All right. How do you change the look? Oh, you have to change the look. Yeah. 
Are you what? To look behind you? Um, well, if you hit on the pad, I think if you hit up or down on the actual pad, you know, the little, try hitting up or down. There you go. That's, that's, now you can look behind you, but it's dark. Anyway, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, my daughter just went to the bathroom and sometimes the thing sticks and it will hold the thing open and it continues to open. But anyways, horrible, absolutely crushing it. Similar idea to what I was, um, talking about, um, using that, uh, stoner to sort of let everything kind of walk in. Um, now, unfortunately it was seven hounds and 10 bat spells with it, but <laughs> that's so ridiculous. One of the hounds didn't even burst. Look at that army comp. Come on. <laughs> the bad spell is broken. We, I, I think we can all agree on that. Now, this is this is a post-nerf, too. So you can imagine it before they did the nerf. Um, but <laughs> clearly it still works to some degree. This was actually a really cool attack. Uh, it's the one Erickson always brings very, very creative attacks. So he goes ahead and uses the bat bomb here. Freezes first over both the air defense and drops a bunch of bats. I think it was six bat spells with the rage. Take care of two infernos and two air, or one inferno, four air defenses before they end up pitting out and a couple other little things. Like that is crazy. So create value on that. Goes ahead and drops a couple balloons there to try and get that mortar trade and gets it just in time. <clears throat> Baby drag over there doing some work and goes ahead and suicides the heroes in basically at this section of base. You're going to see him take care of the arch tower, wizard tower, and the Tesla there. And goes ahead and gets the dragon. The dragon's in. And this is no, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the main purpose of the heroes was to create this funnel, right? Now that the queen is going to lock on to this here, you see there's only, look at the path for the dragons. It's going to basically zigzag up towards the clan castle into the core. Go get all of these expos and crap and then finish off at like 12 o'clock. Might get sort of stuck over here at the 3 o'clock, but still has that stoner coming in. So stoner comes in, which is pretty sweet. And I think he's got a bunch of balloons that are going to burst out of there in a second. Yep, there they go. May as well. Going to take care of those last few defenses while the dragons work through that sweeper and the inferno tower. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful hit, man. Very nicely planned. Still has a ton of dragons left over. Just got to get rid of the wizard tower there. This one's stuck over on that king. Even has a baby D there doing cleanup. Nice job, Eric. Very, very nice. Still crazy. Six bad spells. It was nice. I like the freeze. I was talking to him about the attack. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should freeze that. And then, so it was like rage, freeze, six bats. And they just obliterated that side of the base. The old bat bomb. And Erickson has a six pack as well. Not dragons this time, bringing another bat bomb though. And Ilalo. So you're going to sort of see the idea behind this. I got my bat spell still upgrading, so I haven't really had a chance to play with this too much. But same thing. It doesn't bring a freeze this time, but six bats with the rage takes care of the inferno, takes care of the sweeper, takes care of uh, some other crap down here. Like just crazy value out of that right so he's just gonna allow now this baby d to do a ton of cleanup down here he's gonna allow his suicide uh squad here to go basically from three up till 12 and then he's got um he's got uh three lava hounds still with 24 balloons a rage and uh a haste so in comes the stoner now is gonna go ahead and blast all this it does open up um this big chunk of base here <laughs> And allows that queen to walk in and basically finish off the clan castle troops and finish off uh, the defensive queen. So down goes the defensive queen, which is nice. Queen walks into that rage, which was a little bit lucky, but doesn't matter. I don't think he would have needed it anyways because he just had to hit that ability. If it didn't walk into the rage, he wouldn't have got this expo, but I don't think it would have mattered anyway. So Baby D still doing cleanup and in comes the Lava Hounds. One, two, and three. Just basically five. Four or five balloons on every defense on the outer edge here. Keep in mind, only has the one haste. So just got to be a little bit careful here about where he uses it because he's got these two wizard towers on the back end he's got to worry about. Decides to do it right here to make sure he busts through this sweeper that's giving him trouble so they can all sort of meet up. And they do fly onto that first wizard tower, which is nice. 
And you see these balloons sort of work up through the core, drops a few down on each end um, while the baby D's in there, doing some work as well. Ends up pittering out just too quickly, but you're gonna see these balloons. Oh, you did fine, it's a black bunny. The chocolate bunny. <laughs> um, you can see though, Eric, at this point in the raid, he's like, oh shit, am I gonna do this? Yeah, I got this. One balloon standing and all of his stuff. The baby D might have done it. Oh, the baby D eats a mind to the face. <laughs> Never mind. So um, could have been, I guess all those puffs probably would have taken out that arch tower in time. But uh, nice three-star, Eric. Very nice. Very nice six-pack as well. Bam. <clears throat> all right. So um, didn't have. Now, one thing I got to say to Syria Paradise Um Obviously, 74-73 uh, was a crazy close war. And if you actually look at the war details, um, they obviously had better percentage. So if, oh, there's two things. One, first you're going to see they're number one with the 99% on Smash. So heartbreaker attack for uh, their laid blade. But he nails that, we lose, right? So that... Right there, that defense was sort of an MVP moment of the war. Um, and honestly, Warble, Warble was our MVP of the war. Uh, this guy, just he's playing playing accounts for us at 12, 11, and 10, and just absolutely crushing it all over the map snowing for us. And snowing and raining, holy smokes. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so crazy job. And actually, I wish I could, I wish I had my war match open to see what their final 11B was. But their 11s were on fire. I mean, I think we outperformed them at the 10 level. Um, but their 11s went, I think, like 5 for 7. Or could it have been 5? The, no, there's only 4 Town Hall 11s. Isn't there 1, 2, 3? Yeah, 4. So I think they went. I think they cleared us. And it was they were either 4 for 7 or 4 for 6, which uh, was an awesome uh, awesome job by Syria Paradise's uh, Town Hall 11s. Uh, and then that 99% on Smash would have been the win for Syria, Par Syria Paradise based on percentage. But it's the way she goes sometimes. Um, so great war. Uh, One Hive 2.0 is seriously looking forward to the playoffs. Um, I do have, that's the other thing I should have brought up. Maybe I can find that real quick like for you. Where is Discord? Can I close Discord really? Sorry, give me one second here, guys. I'm See if I can yank this up for you here. Because we play... <laughs> Announcements. Playoff picture. There we go. Open. Original. So it's taking two seconds. I should have done this already. My bad. And picture is... Blah, blah, blah. And we are going to add a quick image for you guys. This is going to look really weird for a minute. <laughs> uh, downloads. There we go. All right. So let's just fix this here. We're going to put this over the whole screen for you guys. So. Um, we had just lost to Perfect Wars. That's uh, that's unfortunate. But you're going to see sort of the first round here, Perfect Wars uh, versus Violent Wizards. And um, only the Bravers of Michael Labs. Sonya versus Kerala Royals. 2.0, we take on CWC Brawlers. Uh, Ainz is going to take on Predominance, Omega Warriors, and Syria Paradise. Sneaky Bastards, Mecha Alliance. Um, Goat Borgs, Griga versus uh, the Cro Cro Procrastinators. Um, anyhow, we're uh, really looking forward to this. Uh, this is definitely what the playoff picture is going to look like here. A um, lot of these, a lot of these clans are, are right around the same records as us, so this should be a really good, interesting playoffs for the rising here. Um, yeah, so I am very excited about that. So I'm going to remove that image, put me back on here just for one second, but uh, I think that'll do it for now, guys. For your wisdom from Wiser. Till next time, I'm out.